So here lately in the PlayStation homebrew scene, there has been a lot of talk about this proof of concept, which just came out. It actually came out right about a day ago. And originally when this came out, I did uh, tweet this out, which basically said that this dumps kernel data from the PS5. And yes, we could already do that, but this might target a higher PS5 firmware version, and it could give us back support for Master Core, since right now, for the PlayStation 5 and with Master Core, at least with doing things like USB game loading, those are all completely broken right now. Here is what it said. It said, send an elf using a sendelf.py, py was obviously a Python application. Once sent, if successful, it will listen on port 9030, and will dump the kernel data. And so the only other thing that was noted in here was, was that when the question was asked, is this hen, they already had an answer for that, which was no. And so then I started seeing a couple of different sites trying to hide the POC file. And I did not like that. So I just went ahead and posted it over here on my GitHub where you didn't have to sign up for anything. And again, I just kind of let folks know that the homebrew proof of concept, it was not him. So if you did download the one from my GitHub or from wherever else, you would have seen that it would have came with these files, a readme.md, a send underscore elf.py, which was a Python file, and then two just elfs. And then here was the download link, and right here is where it's at on my GitHub, and you would just press this download raw file button. I wrote that the source code is now out for the POC. So this has been updated only one time, and it was right around three hours ago at the time of filming this. And we can see that down in the readme, it says project name is temporary. This repo will likely be short-lived. I got tired of waiting and wanted to upload it somewhere. Proper credits will be attributed later. Well, so obviously it is a good idea to fork this. I've already forked it. So I have a copy of it just in case something happens here. And so I saw some text over on wololo.net and I thought this was a great way to summarize it. They say the code leverages the Redis server running on the PS5 to spawn a daemon process, which will effectively run the homebrew. This allows us to run the homebrew as a separate process from the exploited stack, whether the Blu-ray application or WebKit, depending on the hack, a critical step to have a clean slate for the homebrew to run. And don't forget, if you want access to all of these files right here, obviously just go over to this GitHub page. And for the source code, there will be a link to this in the description. Thanks so very much for watching, and Michael out.